Carl and Lou here from Games, Brains and Headbanging Life, GBHBL.com for sure. And it's track by track time, checking out Melted on the Inch by the progressive metal rock band Boss Keloid, released on the 27th of April 2018 by Hollywood Records. Um, yeah, it's Boss Keloid. We're mm. both huge fans. That's yes. something we can I can confidently say. There's no like, oh, you've got a different opinion to me. We both yeah. rate this band extremely highly. Yeah, they're amazing. Amazing live. It's... Yeah. It's not a gig, it's an experience. Yep. They're just incredible. Like We've seen them a good few times yeah. live now. And world um, again in the future. Uh, um, anytime Boss Keelord come around to our city, we will immediately like, can we go, can we go, can yep. we go? Mangata. Immediately. They're playing at Mangata, so... So there's that. Yep. Um, Mangata Festival that takes yep. place in July or June? July. July, there we go. So. July 2024 in Nottingham, so do check that out yeah. as well. Um, yeah, this uh, Melt Within the Inch, I don't think it was my first experience of Boss Keelord. But yeah. I think it might have been my first full on. This is simply like where I really, really paid attention. Yeah, yeah, so, same here. Again, because probably if anyone watches this in the series, like, I struggle listening to whole albums. Mm -hmm. I'm a cherry picker. I would put playlists all day long compared to listening to whole albums. But yeah, this really takes me from start to finish. I absolutely love it. So yeah. Yeah, this is this is a this was a fun fun listen. Even though I was like, oh my god, the knot's got to be so so long, because Jimmy, you can't write one or two words about no. Boss Keloid, no. even if. <coughs> I'd love to. I, so there's a little detail here. I'm going to get a little bit into it. Good. We begin with Chronoseum. Let me get this out there right now. I think this is one of the best bands in the world, not just the UK. Mm -hmm. A band that delights on record and in person, and I think they go way beyond the progressive term, mm -hmm. which can be off-putting to so many. I, yeah. I know it's a genre term, but you call someone progressive. Many people are like, oh, yeah, yeah, you know, I mean, what, yeah, wandering, long. lengthy, and so on. Case in point, this Boss Keloid classic. Mm -hmm. I say classic because I don't think I've seen them play live and not have this in their arsenal. Mm. It is a sublime example of what they can do. An insanely imaginative opener that is unbelievably brilliant. The twisting and turning of a track that is as heavy as much as it is a work of art. The dynamic riffing, the fuzzy feedback, the emotive highs, the melancholic lows, the down dirty groove. It is outstanding mm. still. And yep. I have listened to this track a lot. Yep, and I still go... Boom. Mm. I, I, I don't make you... I'm sorry, I'm going to go on. No, go on. Do you not hear this track though and also picture it live? Yeah. Oh, yes. Like that's, like that's how familiar <laughs> yeah. I am with it. Yeah. Um, I thought the opening is incredible. Powerful when you just know it's going to be good. Heavy and hypnotising, jazzy and disjointed. I love it. Um, it's incredible and goes through so many phases. I'd recommend this to anyone as a starting track yeah. as it's so good. I think it's the, I think it's the best example. I would go, right, listen to this. And if, if you come away going, I don't really like that, mm. then don't bother going on. <laughs> don't, don't, don't bother talking to me after. <laughs> but you, no, but you, no, yeah, but I know you don't mean like don't yeah. bother. If you can't like this track, yeah, you're in trouble. Yeah. Taku Shavel. It's a very big ass to follow that track, but mm. this is Boss Keloid, and with a combo of soaring melody that is quite pretty and heftier, heavier punches, this one stands out too. It is, unsurprisingly, a depth full listen that shimmers with vibrant musical colours. Mm. Straight in with such a powerful, uplifting track. Heavy when it needs to be, and calmer when it needs to be. Um, the guitar work is great, and hearing these tracks live is such an experience. That's like, an experience. It is. It just kind of just takes you away with it all, mm. so yeah. Pay Kruva. Time for something a bit stranger though. And this track is an oddity. That reggae style introduction still baffles mm. me. Even if I kind of like it. Mm. I think I'm more used to the unexpected with Boss Keloid than I was when I first heard this. I think that really makes mm. a difference. Because I wrote a review for this album and I wasn't too positive about this introduction mm. and this track. But I think years later and now much more familiar yeah. and understanding I'm a lot more comfortable yeah. with it this track transforms via some generally impressive complex riffing big melodies and a lovable booming heavy beat mm. another great track oh yeah uh, the organ the organ gives it a church feel the lyrics always struck such a call for me and it's my album to lift me out of, out of a mood mm -hmm. so it's so uplifting so it, this song's on like a lot of my playlists so. okay uh Jeromely 
<laughs> what man this is next? It's guaranteed to excite regardless. However, because I always have an objective view as much as anything, it's because I love someone, there are thumbs and things that you can criticise. The first minute of this track does nothing to, for me. Mm. Sounding like a piece of music from Donkey Kong Country. Which you think I'd be glad about. Yeah. But no, no. <laughs> not in this context. Yeah. Before an organ rings out. It's a bit too all over the place for my liking. But the course is well and truly corrected as it goes on. And this proves to be another fascinating listen. With more focus on melody. While having plenty of peppiness. And when it's time to get heavy, it does. Mm. Um, I'll say, I, I, Alex, the vocalist, sounds immense on this one. Mm -hmm. The background effects are so layered. And the heaviness they achieve without feeling aggressiveness. Uh, feeling aggressive is great. Mm. That's why I feel like it's heavy without being angry or yeah, yeah. harsh. Well, yeah, 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 of course, I, I get like, that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, penultimate track already, it's Lock and Knock. This one feels like it's going to be chilled. After all, the intro is so mm. relaxing. But it's far from the case. This track brings forth some of the heaviest riffs heard so far. It also has the vocals really soaring, and I love it. I think the returning organ is used far better here too, complementing rather than dominating. Mm. I love the twangy effects and the trippy... Um, Sound this bound has organs, tambourine, it's all good. Like, everything's there, but it works so well. Musical therapy, just stick it on and relax. Yeah. That's what I call them. Yeah. I don't know about the relax, though, sometimes, relax. because it's so, so much going on. It's so, dude, uh, like, f flowing and moving mm. and twisting and turning that if you were trying to say, that I, this, this would be the worst album to mm. put on to. I've got, I've got to focus and got to do some important work. Let me put on Meltwood on the Inch by Boss Keloid. No, guy. Oh. That's a hot... Because it distracts you. Mm. I don't know. Then think. you're not listening to it if that's the oh, case. No. You've just got back... Then you might as well put on white noise if that's the case, no, 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 I no, think. No. I think, anyway. No. Griffin Brass. It would take something truly really shocking to this album. And, of course, that is not the case. As we get a hefty example of progressive heavy groove. I find this one so infectious. Like, it's not obviously catchy because mm. nothing is obviously yeah. catchy. But then this is, to a degree, it leaves me feeling very satisfied. It's a great ending. Great album overall. Yeah. Uh, final track and it still has the right balance of prog epicness and effective bursts of energy and heaviness. Yeah. So yeah, great one to finish on. It is amazing. Um, it was the first full album I'd heard by Boss Keloid. Mm. Uh, Family, The Smile and Thrush was the one that followed this, yes. of course, which is another incredible album mm. as well. But it was good to go back to this because it has what I think. Like, if you were to say to me, what's a, what's a Boss Keloid single? Mm. It would be Corona Sam, yeah. probably, yeah. more than anything else. And that's why that's one of my top three. Mm -hmm. But Taku Shavel is my second of my top three, and Griffin Brass is my third. Oh, we need to add three for three. I went for Chronosium, Taku Shovel, and Lock and Lock. Yeah, to be fair, any and all. Yeah. We go back to what we said already when we were talking through. Chronosium is probably the one you need to yeah. check out, and it'll give you a big enough picture mm. of the Boss Keloid sound yeah. for you to kind of make up your own mind. As I said earlier on, I'll repeat here if you listen to that and you hate it, stop. Yeah. Because if you can't like that, I find it unlikely you're going to enjoy anything else. Yeah. Um, but you should, because yeah. they're one of the best <laughs> bands in the world. But that is, of course, just our opinion. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you get the opportunity to see them at a festival you're playing, uh, you're at and they're playing, go check them out. You might, yeah. might find yourself quite mesmerised. Definitely. Abs see them live. Ooh. Yeah. Live's a major part of the Boss mm -hmm. Key Lord appeal. It is Metal on the Inch. Have you got any thoughts you know what to do? Let us know in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. If you'd like to see more content like this, please consider hitting the subscribe button button. It is gratefully appreciated. You can find us over at gbhbl.com, our full website where reviews, news and so much more goes up daily. We're also on all social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, threads, at GBHBL. Just search for GBHBL and you will find us out there. We also have merchandise on sale. You can access the shop via the website.